morning. It's rain day officially, and not too bad. It's kind of dry in here. I think most of it is just, it's not even condensation actually, which is surprising. I haven't had any condensation like I have before, uh, but most of it is just something through um, bouncing off the ground and then to mesh. I think I picked an okay spot. There's only a standing water or whatever they call it down in the bottom. Everything seems to be relatively dry, way drier than what I would expect. It's been raining like really hard. Above the clouds hostel is 12 and a half miles away. I don't know if I can make it there. That'd be nice. I don't need to dry this stuff out, but the rain should stop around two or three. So I will be soaked today for sure if I start. I know a few people are just taking the zero and staying here, but I don't exactly want to stay yet. That's a dirty tent. <laughs> I wonder if you're supposed to just put that in the bag like this, man, and then just dry it out later. It's only temporary. I hope. Luckily, I have like a bar, but I texted them, they are full, so that's not gonna happen. So, probably just gonna push to a huge gap and then let everything dry out. Or you can still go into town, and I think there's a hotel. We'll see. We'll see. So it's crazy how after just two days, I mean, I guess this is the beginning of three, but like you get a little bond with some people and some have already decided to stay at that back at that shelter for the day. So there's no telling if you'll see them again, which is, it's weird. And you don't know what to say exactly. It's that I hope to see you and wish you the best. But, yeah, that's different. And so he's walking through this water like this. But that's why they got all of these nice little things built, these rocks along the path. That way it diverts the water. I mean, majority, they can only do so much. But this is all wet, so I gotta use the trekking poles. I don't know how much I'll film today. And I won't be filming with the microphone because I don't want to get that wet. So, yeah, I'm going to try and get it because I really like how the fog looks out here. And, of course, the water, the running water and all that. So, yep, yep. I'm going to try and get to Gooch Gap, which is about eight miles today. Maybe a little further. I don't know. There's not really any tent sites in between here and there except for another eight miles away which is probably overkill on a day like this and starting so late. So we'll see again, as always. Bye. I took off the hoodie. Hey, I got too hot. Uh, this thing dries pretty quick and it's not that cold yet. I figured it was Literally right out of the ground. I already filtered that, but I probably didn't need to. But that stuff tastes amazing. Like, <laughs> that's way better than bottled water. I brought all this uh, Mio whatever mixer. I haven't used it yet. I used it the first day because I thought I wouldn't be able to drink the water, but the uh, electrolyte stuff is definitely nasty. I gotta switch that out because that one is horrible. But yeah, this water is amazing. I don't know if it's because I'm thirsty, hot, or what but this is better than like Fiji. The fog's starting to clear up a little bit. Rain stopped. I think it's like one, 1.30. We got like two miles to Gooch, so it'll probably Oh, wait, maybe I, have, I can't remember, but I got a few, a little ways, so hopefully I get there early and 
can rest and dry out my stuff because my shin is starting to hurt quite a bit. I don't know if it's because I wanted to be extra careful going down the wet hills or what. And this Fitbit has thrown me off completely because I have never been even close to the miles I guess I thought I was going. Shaking so much I can't even get any steady footage anymore. Taking a quick break, eating my first trail magic. I saved it for a little bit further. Oh, I missed these. Took the rain pants off too. Busting out the legs, get them out, get them out. This would be a heck of a rookie. Forgive that, I'll probably cut that. This, is, this would have been a heck of a campsite though. It still is. It's only three and I only got like 0.3 miles left till Gooch shelter. Now, oh man, I forgot what's next, but it's only four miles away. Mountain Gap. Yeah, I think Mountain Gap. And that's where like above the cloud hostel is. And they're full though, as I said earlier. But I think there's other places, but there's only one tent site in between here and Neil's Gap, I think, besides the shelters that are up there that you have to use a bear canister, and I do not have a bear canister. So I feel like I want to push on to the tent site right before that, because as you might have seen, I only planned food-wise for three days. So, either I do that or tomorrow is going to be a 15 mile day to get to Neil's Gap and then a little bit further just to, uh, no wait, it should be closer than that. You know what? I'll have to tell you later. <laughs> it should be closer than that though. Uh, not that bad today. It's definitely tough, but and I've covered some crazy ground, to me, anyway. Yeah, that's with the uh, unfair conditions in the beginning. I was thinking my shoes were almost dry and camps on the other side of this. Yeah, that's a good one. It feels good though when you do it. Cause that cold, that water is nice and cold. Plus, it'd be nice to rinse these off actually. So I won't be able to record probably when I was going to, I'll try it, I'll try it. Worst like, worst thing happens, I fall. Here goes nothing. I just got this nice little stick over here. Yep. Oops, I'll have to edit that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> okay, so I am at camp Gooch Gap and my socks are drying, hanging to dry. My shoes are uh, not drying. Not right now, anyway. I still need them. I'm going to definitely pick up some camp shoes. I, I left mine on purpose, thinking I wanted to drop the extra weight, but definitely will be worth it, I think. So tomorrow might be a long day. To, uh, I might have to get to Neil's Gap. Dang, someone's coming to get water. Ruin my studio. So yeah, I keep forgetting to close out the video, so I'm trying to do this one real quick so I can get to some more chores and eat. So yeah, tomorrow might be a big day. Neil's Gap is 15.6 miles away from here and I am on mile 15.6. So basically it would be what I've done in the last two days in one day, but I might be able to find a place to stay and just relax for a night, get a shower, and then continue on. Cause uh, you need bear canisters to stay in the camping areas up there. So I've kind of got to make a stretch past that at least. Cause I don't have one. So 
with that said i'll see you tomorrow